please kneel and let us pray the prayer for priests. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. O Almighty, eternal God, look upon the face of your Son, and for love of him, who is the eternal High Priest, have pity on your priests. Remember, O most compassionate God, that they are but weak and frail human beings. Stir up in them the grace of their vocation, which is in them by the imposition of the bishop's hands. Keep them close to you, lest the enemy prevail against them, so that they may never do anything in the slightest degree unworthy of their sublime vocation. O oh Jesus, I pray for your faithful and fervent priests, for your unfaithful and tepid priests, for your priests laboring at home or abroad in distant mission fields, for your tempted priests, for the lonely and desolate priests, for your young and elderly priests, for your sick and dying priests, for the souls of your priests in purgatory. But above all, I commend to you the priests dearest to me, the priests who baptized me, the priests who absolved me from my sins, the priest at whose masses I assisted, and who gave me your body and blood in holy communion, the priest who taught and instructed me, or helped and encouraged me, all the priests to whom I am indebted in any way. O oh Jesus, keep them all close to your heart, and bless them abundantly, in time and in eternity. Amen. Please stand for the angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour Lord, forth, Lord, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter, Apostle, and the Seventh-day Novena Mass in honor of Our Lady of Edsa, Queen of Peace. Our presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion, Chaplain of Santo Nino de Paz at Greenbelt, and President of Catholic Travel Incorporated. Please stand. Return to God with all your heart, the source of grace and mercy. Come seek the tender faithfulness of God. Return to God. Yeah. 
We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, and to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, and Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good. God the Father, glory to God. 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the prebisters among you. As a fellow prebister and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed, tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint but willingly. As God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of the neverworld shall not prevail against it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist. Others, Elijah, is still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood does not reveal this to you, 
but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the chair or the feast of the chair of St. Peter. I do not know if it was already told to you that the chair is called Cathedra. Cathedra. That's why where the chair is, the church is called Cathedral. The cathedral in every diocese doesn't mean the biggest, the most beautiful, but it is where the chair of the bishop is located. Mahalaga po yun, ano po? And we are commemorating the succession of the, of the chair of St. Peter. It's good to understand that we remember the story. We remember the story. Sabi ng inyong butihing rector, baka pwede mong pagnilayan yung aming tema, remembered, renewed, and ano isa? Reflect. Ano pa? Reflect. 3R. Pero alam, alam mo na baguhin ko, ano po? Remembered, reflect, and renewed. There's no renewal without reflection. There can only be renewal if there is a reflection. And there is only, there can only be a reflection if we can still remember. Kasi kung wala ka nung naalala, ano naman ang pagninilayan mo? Di po ba? Ano? Dapat meron kang naalala. Kailangan meron kang naalala. Ang problema natin, madali tayong makalimot. Di po ba? Ano? Madali tayong makalimot. Pero tandaan niyo po niyo ito. Ang lahat ng kasalanan, pwedeng patawarin. Pero may mga bagay na hindi pwedeng limutin. May mga kasalanan pwedeng patawarin. Pero hindi pwedeng limutin. Bakit hindi pwedeng limutin? Sapagkat pag nakalimot ka, makakalimutan mo ang aral na idinudulot na ngayong karanasan. What is the question of today? Who do you say that I am? Sino ba ako? Do not separate the question of Jesus, who do you say that I am, to the three question of Jesus, to the same person. Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Ngayon, kilala mo ako. Ang kasunod na tanong ay, mahal mo ba ako? sapagkat hindi lahat ng kilala ninyo, mahal ninyo. Di po ba, ano? Mahalaga yun. Hindi sapat na kilala mo ang Diyos. Dapat mahal mo ang Diyos. Mahal mo ang Diyos. Dahil kung hindi mo mahal, hindi mo pahahalagahan. Nililimot mo, hindi dahil hindi maganda ang karanasan, kundi dahil hindi mo pinahalagahan. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, madalas nyo yung nadidinig sa akin, pwede kang maglingkod 
nang hindi ka nagmamahal. Pero kahit kailan, hindi ka pwede magmahal nang hindi ka naglilingkod. Pwede ka magtiis ng walang pagmamahal. Pero kahit kailan, hindi ka pwede magmahal na hindi ka marunong magtiis. Pwede ka magbago ng walang pagmamahal. Pero kahit kailan, hindi ka pwede magmahal na hindi ka magbabago. Maraming bagay na pwedeng gawin na walang pagmamahal. Ngunit ang pagmamahal, yung tanong ng Diyos, do you love me? Should move us to a life that is renewed. To a life that is renewed. Hindi lang yung puro reflection. Dapat merong pagbabago. Hindi lahat na tumatanda nagbago. Tumanda lang. At kahit wala kang gawin, tatanda ka. Hindi po ba? No? Tanggapin natin yon. Kahit wala kang gawin, tatanda ka. Mahirap naman yung tumanda tayong wala tayong pinagkatandaan. Bakit? Nilimot natin. Huwag natin kakalimutan kung bakit merong Edsa Shrine. Yun ang malungkot na kwento. Lubipas ang mahabang panahon na nakalimutan nila kung bakit merong Edsa Shrine. Ano ang kwento? Ano ang bahagi ng kahapon kung bakit tinatag ang simbahan na ito? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, huwag mong kakalimutan kung sino ang Diyos. Hindi siya isang ordinaryong tao. Pag sinabi mong mahal mo ang Diyos, mahal mo ang tatlong bagay. Ang katotohanan, ang buhay, at ang daan. Who am I? I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. Anong problema natin? Pagkamisan, kung hindi man madalas, tinatanong natin kung sino ang nagsasabi ng totoo kumpara doon sa ano ang totoo. Mas mahalaga na alam mo kung ano ang totoo kaysa sino ang nagsasabi ng totoo. Kasi pagkamisan, kung kaibigan mo nagsasabi, kahit mali, nagiging totoo. Di po ba? Alam naman natin, sorry ha, hindi ito politika. Pero alam natin, kahit kailan ang bigas, di na babalik sa 20. <laughs> alam natin yun. Tabi po ha, tabi po. Alam natin yun. During the pandemic, sa Santa Maria Goretti, almost every month, namimigay kami na limang kilong bigas sa bawat bahay ng barangay. 500 families yun. 500 families. Pero, yung 500 families na yun na pinapakain mo, hanggang sa huli, Naniwala sila ng bigas magiging 20. Nakalimot ka. Hindi po ba, ano? Mga minamahala, mga kapatid, ano sabi ko? Kung iibig ka, dalhin mo ang utak. Mahirap yung puro puso na walang utak, no? Bagamat mahirap din yung puro utak na walang puso. Kasi ang saging may puso pero walang utak. <laughs> ang bulalo may utak pero walang puso. Di ba ba? Sana naintindihan niyo ako. We can only have a renewal if we continue to reflect on our experiences in life. But we can only reflect if we continue to remember. Again, my brothers and sisters, the question, who do you say I am, is a question that was not simply asked to Peter. It is a question being asked to us as a believer. Because as a church, we have three obligations. As a church, we have three obligations. And what is that? 
that we worship God, that we preach the gospel, and we love the poor. Worship God, preach the gospel, love the poor. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you cannot do those obligations apart from the truth. Apart from the truth. Palaging nasa katotohanan ang ating kalooban. Inuulit ko. Sana palaging tinatanong natin ano ang katotohanan at hindi yung sino nagsasabi ng katotohanan. Sapagkat nakakahiyamang sabihin kung saan ka nakikinabang ang kalilang sinasabi ay parang totoo. Di po ba? Yun ang malungkot na kwento. Kung kanino ka nakikinabang, parang kung ano ang sinasabi nila, yun ang totoo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, paborito ko itong kwentong ito, na kung saan ang isang anghel ay nagpunta kay Jesus, dala sa isang kamay ay sulo, sa isang kamay ay isang balde ng tubig. A torch and a bucket of water. And Jesus asked, What do you want to do? What do you plan to do with those things? Sabi niya, With the torch, I will burn heaven. With the bucket of water, I will quench the fire of hell. Sa sulong ito, susunugin ko ang langit. Sa tubig na ito, papatayin ko ang apoy ng impyerno. At tinanong daw ni Jesus, para saan? Para alam mo, Panginoon, kung sino ang nagmamahal sa iyo. Kasi maraming nagsisimba dahil takot lang sa impyerno. At maraming nagsisimba dahil gusto lang pumunta sa langit. Paano kung walang langit? Paano kung walang impyerno? Mamahalin mo pa rin ba ang Diyos? Nagtatanong lang ako. Amen. Let us all rise and bring to God our prayers and petitions. Let us pray for the Holy Father entrusted with the authority of Peter to bind and to loose on earth and for other ordained ministers of the church. Let us show them our filial obedience as they teach us the law of Christ. And if repetition of the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Holy Spirit bestow on the Pope, the successor of St. Peter, the guidance he needs to tend his flock. May the Lord be his light, his strength, and his consolation. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we hold fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith and welcome the magisterium of the Church with filial love. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the ordained ministers be examples to the flock by their holiness of life and willing service to those entrusted to their charge. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the faithful pray for the shepherds of the church. May they bear with their human weakness and give them encouragement in their labors. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May the shepherds of the church, honored with sacred office in their life, enjoy the eternal company of Christ in whom they hoped and whom they preached. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lord our God, send your church shepherds with the heart of your Son, the Good Shepherd, that they may oversee your flock, not by constraint, but willingly. At the end of their labors, bestow on them the unfading crown of glory.
This we ask through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter, as her shepherd, she may come to eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in his in its integrity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lip, lip up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead in it the name of your Son. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the name of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, then entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, Please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. This is a moment of grace. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace here in our parish, peace in our country and in the world. And grant you unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel and together let us pray the prayer for peace. Lord Jesus, we come to you in our need, creating us an awareness of the massive forces of conflict that threaten our world today, and grant us a sense of urgency to activate the forces of goodness, of justice, of love, and of peace. Where there is armed conflict, let us stretch out our arms to our brothers and sisters. Where there is abundance, let there be simple lifestyle and sharing. Where there is poverty, let there be dignified living and constant striving for just structures. Where there is selfish ambition, let there be humble service. Where there is injustice, let there be atonement. Where there is despair, let there be hope in the good news. Where there are wounds of division, let there be unity and wholeness. Help us to be committed to the building of your kingdom, not seeking to be cared for, but to care, not expecting to be served, but to place ourselves in the service of others, not aspiring to be materially secure, but to place our security in your love. Teach us your spirit, for it is only in loving imitation of you, Lord, that we can discover the healing springs of life that will bring about new birth to our earth and hope for the world. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Please be seated for a moment for some announcement. The Novena Masses in honor of Mary, Queen of Peace, will be from February 16 until February 24 at 6 p.m. Invited priests and bishops are the main celebrants and homilists. On February 23 at 9 a.m., a Mass will be celebrated at the Shrine to commemorate the 1986 People Power Revolution. This is also to promote the spirit of EDSA and to pray against moves to change the 1987 Constitution. On February 24, from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, volunteer lawyers of the Shrine's free legal aid program will conduct free legal consultations and services at Serviam Hall. We encourage you to avail of these services. On the same day, February 24, there will be a Human Rights 101 lecture at the main church from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. We invite you to attend the lecture and learn some basic information about our human rights. It will be aired live over Radio Veritas. In the evening of February 24, immediately after the 6 p.m. Novena Mass, we invite you for the Barrio Fiesta at the People's Park upstairs. The different ministries and organizations of Elsa Shrine have prepared simple food and local delicacies for you. On February 25 at 6 p.m., the Fiesta Concelebrated Mass will be presided by His Excellency Most Reverend Pablo Virgilio David, D.D., Bishop of the Diocese of Caloocan and President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. Procession of the image of Our Lady Queen of Peace follows immediately after the Mass. Thank you and we hope to see you at the shrine of our Fiesta activities. Lastly, the Edsa Shrine community would like to thank Reverend Father Dave Conception for presiding today's Eucharistic celebration. Salamat po sa pag-iimbita. Sabi nung kasalubong ko kanina, after nine years, 
Nagbibilang pala ng attendance dito. <laughs> Again, my brothers and sisters, you cannot separate the two questions, who do you say I am and do you love me? Who do you say I am is a question of the mind, but do you love me is the question of the heart. Hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ang utak at ang puso. There can only be a renewal if there is a reflection. And there can only be a reflection if we continue to remember. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Mm -hmm.